Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving potential difference, i.e. voltage. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says that a 12 volt battery is connected in series with two bulbs. The reading on the voltmeter is measured to be 5 volts. What is the potential difference across bulb 2? Well, you'll see we've got this 12 volt battery here connected in series with bulb 1 and bulb 2, and then you've got a voltmeter in parallel with bulb 1. Well, to answer this question, we need to know what the circuit rule is for potential difference or voltage in a series circuit. So firstly, we can say that in a series circuit, the sum of the voltage across each component is equal to the voltage of the supply. So the voltage across bulb 1 and bulb 2 must add up to give the voltage across the battery, which is 12 volts. And we can write this in symbol form as Vs, the supply voltage is equal to V1 plus V2 plus dot dot dot. So we have that 12 from the supply is equal to 5 plus V2, and V2 is what I'm trying to find, the voltage across the second bulb. So all I need to do is take 5 away from 12, and I get V2 equals 7 volts. Lastly, question 2 says that in the circuit below, two bulbs are connected in parallel with a power supply of 6 volts. What is the potential difference across bulb 2? So we've got our 6 volt battery here in parallel with bulb 1, which is also in parallel with bulb 2. And to answer this, we need to know the circuit rule for voltage or potential difference in a parallel circuit. So you should remember that in a parallel circuit, the voltage across each branch is equal to the voltage of the supply. So the voltage across this branch must equal the voltage across this branch, which must equal the voltage across the supply of 6 volts. And you could write this in symbol form as Vp is equal to V1 is equal to V2 equals dot dot dot. So that means we can say that V2 is equal to 6 volts. Just be wary of similar questions to this which have more than one component on a branch. Because remember, if there's more than one component on a branch, they must take a share of the supply voltage from the battery. So if you had another identical bulb next to bulb 1 here on this branch, then it would take 3 volts and bulb 1 would also take 3 volts. So that the voltage across that branch was still 6 volts. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.